It's not a bed. It's a time machine. Written by Mickey Rapkin, illustrated by Teresa Martinez. It's not a bed. It's a time machine. Good night, kiddo. Be brave. You're the boss of bedtime. Me, brave? I wasn't so sure. Bedtime means lights out with dark corners and spooky sounds. Don't be afraid of bedtime, Floppy said. This isn't a bed. It's a time machine. Think about it, Floppy said. You brush your teeth, get under the covers, and then what? Bam! It's morning. Where did the hours go? Close your eyes. Imagine your next adventure. Then it's blast off in five, four, three, two, fun! You know what I saw next? I'll give you one Tyrannosaurus guess. Dinosaurs, hundreds of them. Whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. Is this safe? Floppy mumbled. But I was already climbing a tree branch, which wasn't a tree branch at all. It was a dinosaur. Floppy shouted, "Run!" Then the dinosaur licked my hair. You're not scary," I said. "You just want to play." So he played fetch with his giant bone, and we played connect the dots with twinkly stars. It would have been awesome to hang out for six billion years, but I started missing home. We tried to leave, but my new friend wouldn't stop nibbling on my sock. I don't think he wants to be alone," Floppy whispered. "But you're not alone, Dino Pal," I said. "The other dinosaurs are always nearby. He has his family. Now it was time for me to see mine." Floppy and I climbed back into the time machine. "Be brave," Floppy whispered. "You're the boss of bedtime." When I opened my eyes again, the sun was peeking through. Look at your hair, Mom said. What happened? I had a dream. My bed was a time machine, and a dinosaur licked me. And and maybe it wasn't a dream after all. The end.